Hey everybody, part time producer.uk, Marty G in the place. How are you? Or Paul as well. Um, right, this week, this video, whatever time scales you want to work off, I don't mind. Um, this is going to be about dynamics within Bitwig Studio. I'm on Bitwig Studio 2.4. And I've recently upgraded, so I'm just going to play around. Dynamics is not a new thing. Uh, it's the tool that you would use to get that pumping effect that you get within um, a lot of dance music tracks. And it's a good one because it can turn a boring polysynth like that into a nice pumping effect to get a kick drum going through. So as it stands at the moment, I've just got the two playing there. Kick. and the polysynth you could use this on anything so strings um, bass lines pads all sorts of things but I'm just doing polysynth because it gives the effect quite clearly and it's quite obvious to see when it's taking place so what we want to do we want the kick to cut into the polysynth and we want that to be to, to have the pumping effect on it. So in order to do that, we're going to need to put the dynamics effect on this bass running track. So we go to polysynth and we want it after the instrument so that the effect takes place after it. We search for dynamics. We choose Bitwig. We choose dynamics. And we OK it. And there we are. So as soon as I start playing, we can just see the polysynth effect taking place there. So what we want to do, we need to tell it which input to use or to listen to, to for the effect to take place on. So we're going to tell it to listen to the kick and it's kick main, E kick out. And the reason for that is because our drum track is kick main and the instrument is E kick and it's the output of that which we want. So if we now go back to our dynamics, we can see it's not doing anything different and the reason for that is it's a one-to-one -one ratio so this is the compression that we want to apply as you can see there it says compression slash expansion ratio for the high stage used for the louder part of the signal so as soon as we start to crank that up we will hear it starting to take effect and we can also see it taking effect in the blue bar on the right here And if you look at the oscilloscope there, you can see the signal now. So I've put that as high as it will go, infinity. So if you listen, let me turn it off. And you can hear that pumping effect coming through. So I generally work around one to two, one to three for the sort of best effects um, for bass lines anyway uh, but obviously play around with the set and see what you think um, but the attack and release that also makes a big difference you want to be getting a kind of nice smooth wave on this to get a smooth pumping effect so that generally means having a shorter attack time and a longer release time that's it simple as that have a play around and have a change of the settings and see what you think and until next time it's www.parttimeproducer.uk and please come along have a visit at the site leave some comments on the vid and i will see you next time